Hey, what's going on, my friend? It's Jeff Newpert from ChasingStrength.com. And in today's video, we are going to discuss why single kettlebell workouts could actually be better for you if you want to lose fat. All right, let's dive in. Now, traditionally, if you've been watching this channel or have any of my programs, you'll know that I typically prefer double kettlebell workouts for, well, pretty much everything, even fat loss, which is, I guess, why I'm considered by many the double kettlebell guy. However, Last year, I ran across some interesting research that made me reconsider this stance. Maybe just a little bit, though. So let's dig a little deeper, okay? So there is a concept called reflexive stability that we discuss in a subsect of training called movement restoration, okay? Now, reflexive stability is simply your body's ability to subconsciously anticipate and react to movement before it happens. In 2016, there was some research published by Jayquish and Akiri, I think I'm saying their names right. And it demonstrated that increased demands and reflexive stability increase the production and uptake of growth hormone, GH, HGH, whatever you want to call it, however you want to abbreviate it, by 101%. Now, in case you don't know, GH or growth hormone is a powerful anabolic hormone that aids in the preservation and increase in muscle mass. And uh, more importantly, for the purposes of this video and for many of us using kettlebells, it aids in fat loss, burning off body fat. Okay. Now the study's authors concluded on the basis, we'll throw this quote up here, on the basis of this evidence, interventions that encourage increases in whole body stability firing can be recommended to elicit increases in HGH human growth hormone levels. So in other words, single kettlebell lifts increase reflexive stability or the whole body demand due to their unilateral nature, right? They're constantly trying to pull you off balance and out of alignment. And that's why many times you feel your core muscles working so much more when you're doing exercises uh, like the Turkish getup, right? there's a balanced demand, there's a balanced challenge, and your abs have to work overtime in order to keep that kettlebell from falling on your head and to keep you from falling over. Okay, so if we had to put it in some kind of diagram, it would look something like this. And again, we'll flash this up here on the screen. Single kettlebell lifts produce or require increased reflexive stability demand, which requires or produces, we get that little arrow, so let's say produces increased growth hormone production and uptake, and that combined increases fat loss, okay, or yields increased fat loss. What's also pretty cool about growth hormone is that it's been implicated, <laughs> sounds like a criminal, we've implicated growth hormone in the committing of this crime. GH, growth hormone, has been implicated in the literature, in the scientific research, in actually speeding up fat loss, particularly in the stomach. So stomach fat, belly fat, whatever you want to call it, visceral fat. Using single kettlebell lifts to speed up fat loss, including stomach fat loss, right, especially if you're lacking reflexive stability, is actually a pretty smart move, right, especially when you use the right set, rep, and rest schemes to A, stimulate muscle mass, and B, stimulate stomach fat loss. And yes, you can do both at the same time. If you get those parameters correct. Now, look, I'm not saying I'm 100% sold that this research proves that single kettlebell work is better than double kettlebell work for you to lose body fat. But it certainly, in my mind, does explain why some people experience better or faster fat loss using single kettlebell programs versus double kettlebell programs. Even though the external load, right, the, the absolute load that you're using is less, right? That, that makes good sense. So if I'm, if I'm pressing a pair of 32s versus just pressing a 40 or a 44, the load on my body is 64 kilos versus 40 or 44, or if I'm in beast mode, right? 48 kilos, but you get the point. So if you're not sure which you respond better to single kettlebell work or double kettlebell work for fat loss, I actually recommend you start with a single kettlebell program, right? Refer back to the previous video where we covered the five level pyramid for kettlebell training. And you recall that single kettlebell work is levels one, two, and three, especially if you've been using double kettlebell work for a while and your results seem to have slowed down or even stalled. Using a 12 to 16 week period of single kettlebell work actually could inject new life into your stalled or dead training. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, click the like button, smash the subscribe button. If you're not already a subscriber, come on, man, get, let's get with the program here. Lots of good information here that'll help you immediately. And uh, feel free to share this with a friend and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Also, if you need some training programs, either single or double kettlebell to burn off some stomach fat, I'll leave links in the description below. Okay, until next time, my friend, stay strong.